I'm Dana K. White of aslobcomesclean.com and the author of How to Manage Your Home Without Losing Your Mind. Okay, I am going to teach you a concept today that I'm sure I've mentioned in the past because it's pretty much a foundational concept for changing your home based on the way I changed my home, and that is dishes math, okay? Here's the short version. Dishes defy mathematical logic. And when I was trying to figure out how to get my house under control based on mathematical logic, I was not getting my house under control. Instead, when I started doing the dishes and realized how dishes math actually works, then my house started to get un under control, okay? Short version is this. One day's worth of dishes takes 15 or a little more minutes, okay? If you don't have a dishwasher, keep listening because I am gonna talk to you too, okay? One day's worth of dishes takes 15 to 20 minutes. Two days worth of dishes does not take double that. Mathematically, it should, right? But in reality, it doesn't. Two days worth of dishes takes at least an hour because you're not just filling up a sink and washing those dishes or filling up your dishwasher. You are doing those things and having to shift all these other things and make up for all the other stuff that you didn't do yesterday. So it's, it takes longer than double the amount of time, okay? Three days worth of dishes takes hours to do. It is not just 15 minutes for one day, 30 minutes for the second day if you didn't do them the day before and 45 minutes for the third day. No, it's hours. It's like this whole big excavate the kitchen thing, okay? That's dishes math. For those of you who are like, oh, I got it. Y'all move on to a different video. For those of y'all who need more words, I have more words for you because uh, mm, I would have needed more words. I thought doing the dishes was an hours long job because I only ever waited until I was out of dishes. So here's how it would work. I would walk by the sink and if there was one day's worth of dishes or just you know a few dishes in there, I would be like, I'm really busy. I don't have time to <laughs> stop and just do a few dishes. I need to wait until it's worth my time, till there's enough that it's worth my time you know, to do that. And then the next day I would walk by the sink and now there were dishes like up over the top of the sink. And I was like, oh my goodness. I don't have the time. I am a really busy woman. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to have to wait until I have enough time, you know, to actually do the dishes before I do that. And then by the next time that it ever occurred to me to even notice dishes, um, they were spread all over the kitchen counter. Okay. And we were like washing single forks and spoons under that little stream of water between like, you know, the top of the bottom of the faucet and the top of the dirty dishes that are in the sink. So at that point, it was overwhelming. So I thought, because that's how I would put it off and you know, either not notice them or if I notice them, have some logical, super chronic overthinker, super logical reason why now was not the time to do the dishes. I would wait, they would grow, it would get worse, blah, 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 yada, yada. Okay, so um, I thought doing the dishes was this big, huge task, which was another reason I would put it off because I always put it off so it always took forever. So in my mind, doing the dishes takes forever. You see what I'm saying? But because I started doing the dishes every day, that was when I realized how long it took to do the dishes. Like that changed my perception of what it means and the time that it takes to do the dishes. But I did not know until I did them every day, okay? Which means, if this is you going, I think doing the dishes is this hours long task and you're like, okay, I wanna give this a try. It's probably gonna be an hours long task today. You're probably gonna have a lot of dishes to catch up on. You're not going to know what one day's worth of dishes is for you, whether you have a dishwasher or you don't have a dishwasher. You're not gonna know until you do all the dishes today and then do them again tomorrow, because tomorrow is when you will experience one day's worth of dishes. But if you haven't been doing them every day, you're catching up first, okay? So don't let that catch up day be what makes you think this is what this is like. Because then you're not only doing just one day's worth of dishes, you've spent a whole day going, 
I know this is only going to take this amount of time. Like I know it's not going to take me that long. And my kitchen looks a whole lot better than it ever has before. Okay. Like, so it builds in starting to change how you think because the chronic overthinking was getting me nowhere. The trying to logically figure everything out ahead of time before actually doing anything. That was my problem. Okay. I was constantly overthinking where instead doing it, went ahead and gave me the understanding of, oh, now I know for sure how long this is going to take. Let me talk to y'all who are sitting here going, I think she, I see her dishwasher. I see that thing, right? I see that glowing. I can hear it in the background. Who makes a video with that going in the background? I get it. Okay. If you don't have a dishwasher, you think this doesn't apply to you. It totally applies to you. It is the same concept. If you are not doing the dishes every day, if you only wait until they are piled up and you have to do them, you don't know how long it takes, okay? So I'm gonna tell you, and you're not gonna believe me, but I'm gonna tell you that it probably only takes you 20 to 30 minutes to do your dishes even hand washed every day. I know you don't believe me and I get it. And you don't have to believe me because obviously I have a dishwasher. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've read the books. Anyway. But, um, prove me wrong. Like do your dishes today, catch up and then do them again tomorrow and time yourself and come back to the video and be like, you were wrong. This is how long it takes. And I am happy for you to do that. Cause you know what? Even if I'm wrong and it takes you 45 minutes, you're still going to be comparing today's catch up of a couple of hours to tomorrow's 45 minutes and you're going to grasp the concept of how long one day's worth of dishes actually takes, okay? I think it's gonna be less than that, but I could be wrong, okay? But you don't know until the second day. You have no concept of it until you have actually only done one day's worth of dishes. Doing the dishes when you're always behind and putting it off, not the same as one day's worth of dishes. You cannot know until you really do it. So time yourself, that's great, okay? whatever you'll have your dishes done and that'll be great right okay so let's talk about a couple other things so when should you do the dishes i don't care i, I mean i really don't care when you do the dishes um for me i did not set a time when i was first first of all i didn't think this was going to work i didn't think it was going to make this big of a difference i had no idea i was just at such a point of desperation in my home and so i was just i'm just gonna do the dishes i'm gonna try to keep my dishes done through doing that, I found what works best for my home and my family and how we operate. Um, you're going to find it just by saying, I'm going to try to get the dish dishes done every day. Having that mentality is much better for me than having this mentality of tonight, I'm going to do them before I go to bed. Because sometimes you just don't feel like doing it before bed, right? I mean, now those of y'all who are like, people go to bed without their dishes done? We do. A lot of us can sleep perfectly fine. <laughs> Does not bother us at all. Anyway, um, but if you have the idea that I am going to have my dishes done at some point today, okay, that means that it shifts something in those of us who are chronic overthinkers, okay? Some of y'all are thinking, I don't get why this is so hard. Those of us who are chronic overthinkers, it shifts something in our brains to be like, okay, well then it's worth it to me to do a little bit right now and a little bit later because I'm just trying to have them finished at some point today. The timing of it is less important than getting them done every day. By doing them every day and just focusing on, I've got to do these every day, you will figure out what works best for your family. What works best in my home for me is to run my dishwasher after dinner. Okay, like that will keep things going because it's the routine. The routine is everything. It's more important than anything else. It's just to remember this routine. When I say that, here's what I mean. It is important for me to go ahead and run my dishwasher, even if it's not completely full, okay? For two reasons. First of all, if I will know ahead of time that I am going to run my dishwasher every single day, okay? Or hand wash your dishes, whatever. But if I know that, it takes away the decision, okay? Because I'm a chronic overthinker. And when I used to not run my dishwasher every day, to not do my dishes every day, I was constantly deciding if I should do my dishes. 
And that was a huge part of my problem. And I was going, okay, do I have time? How long is this gonna take? Should I do it right now? Blah, blah, blah. Instead, when I removed that decision, I call these pre-made decision. This is what has to be done for my house to stay under control. I have to do the dishes every day. When I removed that decision, it wasn't just the value of not having to decide every day, it actually helped my overall house. It helped my overall house because if I know that I have to run my dishwasher, I have to do my dishes every single day, then I go ahead and fill it. Instead of me going, mm, that's probably not enough for a list. It's always enough. It's always enough, okay? If there is room in there, it makes me take another look at the countertop and I always find, oh, there's like a pile of things over here. Yes, those need to go and it benefits my entire kitchen. And then if there's still room, I go, um, well, I don't know. I don't have a choice. This is a pre-made decision. This is what I do to keep my house under control. I have made this decision ahead of time. I'm not making it tonight. I'm going to have to run it. So I might as well walk through the house and see if there's any dirty dishes. There are always dirty dishes. Okay. I got teenagers y'all and I've got me. I'm the one. Y'all that water cup was mine. Anyway. So from last week's video, sorry. Um, there's always dirty dishes. And so it benefits my entire house when I have this pre-made decision that I'm not chronically overthinking, that I'm not analyzing every night. That saves me a lot of mental energy anyway, and it benefits my whole house. The other reason, running my dishwasher every night saves water. I, I know some of y'all are like, it can't, it can't save water. There is no possible way. Y'all, it does. I'm telling you what, it saves water. I got to tour the Maytag labs back in a couple years into doing this crazy blogging job or whatever that I did. Um, I got to tour the Maytag labs and met the people who actually, you know, design the dishwashers and test the dishwashers and all this kind of stuff. And they just gave the facts that I, I think now here's, here's what I'm gonna tell you. Go Google it. Okay. Go Google it. Cause I, if you're already being skeptical, then you don't believe me and you need to get an outside source anyway, but you use like, two to three times the capacity of a dish to hand wash it. And if you think about it, yeah, you wash it, you rinse it, okay, all that kind of stuff, especially if you're just doing one at a time, whatever, you use a lot of water when you're hand washing, but the dishwasher uses like, don't quote me, but modern dishwashers use like three or four gallons. It's crazy. Look at your model of dishwasher and say, how much water does mine use? Google, do you use less water using a dishwasher than hand washing? Whatever. I, I mean, you do, you're going to find sources like, like scientific people, people who get paid to chronically overthink. <laughs> Dishwashers use less water. So I run my dishwasher when it's not completely and totally full for the reason that if I let myself analyze, I'm always gonna default to, eh, nah, it'd be safer to wait. I mean, that's just, unfortunately, my personality, okay? Also, I'm gonna use less water if I run it tonight with it not being completely full than if I wait until tomorrow, because remember dishes math, okay? Because tomorrow, I'm gonna have to do the excess dishes that won't fit in there. Cause I mean, for our family of five, we pretty much always fill the dishwasher. And if we don't, there's only a little bit of room and there's definitely not enough room for tomorrow's dishes too, which means I'm gonna get behind and I'm gonna ultimately use more water because I'm gonna have to be hand washing things. Okay, so for me to run it tonight when it's not completely and totally full, uses less water than putting it off until tomorrow and dishes math taking hold and messing everything up. And then I ultimately end up using more water. Okay, so that routine is so important. And I'm gonna tell you too, for those of you guys who the water thing is freaking you out, because you always wanna do the very best thing, I'm just gonna tell you that before I got dishes under control, we always had paper plates on hand and paper cups or plastic cups or whatever. We used to do that. So that's been like what, 10, 11, 12 years ago, something like that. 
that because it was our safety net. We needed the safety net of having disposable products. And yet, once I started doing the dishes every day, I suddenly realized, oh, I haven't used the paper products that we already had and I haven't bought anymore. And now we basically only have disposable products for unusual situations, you know, like a party or a, you know, feeding a bunch of teenagers or some kind of a situation like that. Instead, we just do the dishes. Y'all, it has saved me a lot of money on that. And if you are paranoid about the environmental aspect of it and you just can't bring yourself to Google and find out that I'm right, that you're gonna use less water using your dishwasher, but whatever, um, also consider that. I, I mean, like, I we just don't use paper products like we used to. I mean, it, like hardly at all. Like as part of our everyday lives, we just don't because we don't need to because dishes are under control because of dishes math and because it only takes like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do the dishes every day. Okay. All right. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see if Reed cut out my sneezes or not. Oh, he says I have to stop and finish and then go turn the camera off. That's it for this week, folks. That's it for this week. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.